Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about the most frequently asked questions we get about first dance on clouds. With our company, we start out at $350. It really just depends on where your event is located, the date of your event, and if this is an a la carte item or this is an add-on to one of our DJ or video packages. How long will the effect last? Now, this really depends on a lot of different factors. The first thing is how much dry ice that we can put into the machine. We usually like to go for about 30 pounds and on a consistent blast, this could last anywhere between two to about four or five minutes, depending on some of the other elements. Now it's also gonna depend on how hot it is outside and the wind. Because this is a cloud, any kind of wind or AC will move the cloud along. So it really just depends on a bunch of different factors, but overall it'll last about two to five minutes for the dance. What are the venue requirements? For this effect to last, we're gonna be bringing in about anywhere from about 30 to 50 pounds of dry ice. When we get to the venue, we need to be able to get water from a uh, tap outlet. We have a hose that we can fill it up. It will take about eight gallons of water to fill up the machine so the effect can last. This water doesn't get pushed on to the dance floor. It just gets pumped over the dry ice so the dry ice melts and that's what creates the cloud effect. Now we need at least one dedicated cir circuit that nobody else is using. If possible, we could have two and that way the machine only takes about 20 minutes to uh, heat up versus like 45 minutes to an hour and a half. And this all will depend on the temperature that the water starts at. When it comes to setting up the machine, there are a lot of different factors that will cause the time to be different. The first thing is we need to have power. If we can have it plugged into one outlet, it's gonna take about 45 minutes to about an hour and a half to heat up. If we have two different circuits, it can heat up from about 20 minutes to about 40 minutes. And it also depends on the starting water temperature. When we're at the event, we'll need to have access to water so that way we can fill the machine up. This machine will take about eight gallons of water and this is what's pumped over the dry ice to create the effect. Usually cleanup can be done very quickly. The only circumstances where cleanup might be a little bit longer is if we have a marble dance floor and a little bit of moisture could make that marble slick. We have mops with us and stuff to clean up, but usually is not a problem and it's just a little bit damp, but it doesn't leave a mark or cause any water damage. Can this be used for multiple dances? The quick answer is no, but with our company, if you wanna use it for the first dance, let's say the first dance is right after the grand entrance, and then you wanna use it for another dance later on, there needs to be time in between each event for it to be used because once the effect is used, the water then has to take 20 minutes to an hour to preheat again. We need to add more dry ice. During a, an event, it'll usually go through about 30 pounds of dry ice as that hot water is being pumped over the dry ice, melting it to create the effect. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. If you guys have any more questions or you guys would like to book a consultation meeting, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you guys.